Hello, this is James Vade, and I'll be demonstrating angular momentum using these two cylinders here, with weights placed further away from the center of the cylinder. This will give each of the two cylinders a different moment of inertia. I'll be rolling both of these cylinders down an inclined ramp. Uh, as you can see, uh, the one on the right is marked with a notch. This one should be moving slower than the one on the left as it leaves the ramp. I'll do a brief explanation of the math behind this now. Here is the equation for the Lagrangian of this system. The first term is the kinetic energy associated with the linear movement. The second term is the energy associated with the angular momentum. This is the part of the equation that we're going to be varying. And the third term is just the potential energy. Since the moment of inertia is larger on the notched disk you can see on the left, that causes the disk on the left to be slower as the energy is transformed from potential energy to angular momentum, which gives the disk on the left in this situation a higher linear velocity as it leaves the ramp. The results of this experiment were very repeatable and I was able to get the same results about 9 out of 10 times. The weights of the two cylinders were 377 and 378 grams, so they were nice and close, which was able to keep one of the variables constant in that equation shown earlier. This angle here shows definitely that the notch disc on the left here does reach the bottom of the ramp slower. There's me, and thank you so much for watching.